Welcome to the Good Morning Show, Friday Life Live, where we strive to start our day in a good way with some joy and some hope and some encouragement as we continue to seek wisdom, truth, and life. My name is Brian Bell. I'm so glad you're here. It is Thursday, January 25th, 2024, week four, day number 25 of the new year, live stream number 251. Hey, let's know where we are. Let's know where we're going. Let's know why we're going there. And let's make today count. Good morning, live streamers, Finding Life family, Finding Lifers. It is so great to see you. It is so great to be here with you. Happy new day of life. Let's see who we have with us. Let's see who we have with us. These came in like all grouped together. Like I have all of John Mary's comments, all of William Blair's comments, and then all of Kat's comments. They're all grouped together. Then all of Laura's comments. They're all grouped together. They're not intermixed. So I'm so sorry. Let's see what we got here. John Mary from Uganda. First up on my side, I say, What's up, guys? What's up, John Mary? So good to see you, bro. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a good Thursday there in Uganda. Love you so much, bro, and so glad that you're here with us this morning. Let's see what you got here. Laura, safe journey. Of course, I'm still breathing. There's Deborah. Deborah says, hey, my beloved Finding Life family, I leave in 15 minutes for the airport, so I will miss this show completely. Oh, Deborah, I'm so sorry to hear that. You say, uh, Deborah says, shalom and goodbye. All right, Deborah, we'll see you soon, Lord willing. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for jumping in while you could. John Mary says, Lars, I'm just somehow, bro. I'm just somehow, bro. John Mary says, good morning. And ooh, no, I mean, I'm live and kicking. I'm alive and kicking. Very good, John Mary. I'm a v- very good, very good. Mactavius, you're here early today, bro. Good to see you. Thanks for jumping in. Mactavius says, good morning, fun and life family. Still under the weather, but alive and thankful. Amen for that. Mactavius, so good to see you, bro. Glad you're, uh, glad you're still kicking. And uh, bro, we pray that you feel completely well soon. Deborah says, smash that like button. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate that. William Blair, William Blair, got to get breakfast started in the chat kitchen. Good morning, William. So good to see you, bro. Hope you're having a good morning. Hope you're doing well. William says, good morning, Lars. One minute. Let's go. William Blair says, LOL, Lars. I was just telling Hilly about the sound bite for me and Tater. William Blair says, Psalm 14, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. Yes, that I remember reading that. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. William Blair says, good morning, everybody. Enjoy birthday party, Deborah." William Blair says, Lars is the reason, is the reason I look forward to going home with Jesus again. LOL, Lars, fool. We all have fun here. We do our best, don't we, William Blair? We do our best. Let's do our best. Let's see. William Blair says, making Deborah breakfast burrito for the flight. Awesome. Where's Deborah flying to? William says, chat kitchen menu breakfast burritos. William, bro, keep, you're doing so good making us biscuits and gravy and all kinds of stuff, and now breakfast burritos. Thank you so much. William Blair says, yes, Cap, Mr. Magoo was a funny cartoon, blind driver, LOL. (laughs) Uh, I always tell non-believers, first scripture they should read, Psalm 14. Psalm 14. Let's go back. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. Uh, Let's see here. William Blair, six more minutes. Counting it down, taking it down. Getting that live show pre-chat going. There's Laura K. Good morning, Laura K. So good to see you. Hope you're doing well this morning. Laura K says hello. Won't be able to chat, but we'll be driving to work listening. Have a nice day. We hope you have a nice day too, Laura. So good to see you. Uh, Kat says bromance. Who are you talking about, Kat? Hmm, who are you talking about? Kat says truly this is the best group I've ever seen on a live stream. Oh, Kat. That's so nice. Thank you so much for saying that. Love you guys. We love you too. We love you too, Kat. So glad you're here. Uh, Kat says, love those sound bites. Haha, ha, I remember Mr. Magoo. Kat says, oh, there's there's Kat's photo stream. She has uh, daily encouragement, morning and evening daily encouragement. Be sure to check that out. Kat says, Deborah, Lars can get you the mop and wipe the floor. <laughs> Deborah's tears are making a puddle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, she's asking Deborah. Lars, can 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 you get the mop? Got you. Can you get the mop and wipe the floor? Dear uh, Deborah's tears are making a puddle. Let's yeah, put out the wet floor sign, please. Cat says, okay, okay, getting my dancing shoes on. Let's go. Evening encouragement. Let's see. Uh, I guess it's coming up soon. All right, all right. Cat Cat says, hey Mac T, how the heck are you? Cat says, hi and bye. You too, Laura. Cat says, still breathing. John, yes, that's a hard habit to break. I haven't seen John yet. Only seven verses. Showtime. We made it to showtime. It is showtime. Cat says, who are you kicking, John? 
William Blair, chat, the chat chef, the chat chef, the chat chef. <laughs> uh, let's see. Cat says, morning meow. That's Yes, that's the name of your link, but I'll give you a meow for that. Meow. There you go. Cat uh, says, hello, boys, William, Lars, John, Mary, Mac T. Cat uh, says, uh, that's wonderful news, Lars. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that, Lars. Cat says, Lars, have you been to my morning meow? I don't remember seeing you. Cat says, bye, Deborah. Have a nice time. Come back with stories. Cat says, perfect. And there it is. There's the evening. Is that the evening? Is that the morning? There's the other one. There is the other one. You can check that out. Hey, I am planning on, meeting, I'm planning on making a community group soon. Uh, hey, next next t- Tuesday, we're coming up on the one-year anniversary for Finding Life on YouTube. Started this journey in 2011, the Finding Life journey. And uh, that, you know, that for those of you, some of you, I think you probably all know, but it all started when when life had become like mundane and monotonous. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's got to be something more to life than this. And we started seeking God's will for our life instead of our own. And it led us to adopt Jaden. Bobby got called to Uganda. I got called to Uganda. We got called to move here to California to help start a new church and led me to start this YouTube channel almost one year ago today. Uh, looking at Tuesday. Tuesday is the one-year anniversary. I started this live stream January 30th, 2023. And so coming up on our one-year anniversary soon, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't have any special plans yet, but we'll have to think that through. It may just be a normal, ordinary show. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But I am planning on, uh, after the one-year mark, planning on adding a lot more things, more of the practical side. I think looking to add more of the practical side of finding life. This is the foundational part of finding life. This is like the foundation. Got to lay. Got to build on the foundation, the living word, the rock. Building the foundation on the rock. That's what we're doing here in this opening year on YouTube. Building the foundation on the rock, and then after that, we're going to start building the practical side. But we're going to keep the foundation going too. Going to keep, we're going to keep that foundation solid, and we're going to build on top of it with some practical stuff. Like we're called to live life well, we're called to do well with what we have been given. How do we do that? And so, looking to add a lot of new things after the one year mark, which is coming up next week. And another thing I'm looking to do is add a community group, a couple of different ones, but uh, one free, one paid, but um, one one for the foundational side, one for the practical side. The practical side of Fine Life is going to be more the business side, the online business side of finding life and the foundational, the faith part is always going to be the free foundational, like open to everyone. Uh, so looking to do a free community group where people can come together and like share more things and, and connect with each other anytime and things like that. So looking to do some stuff like that. Stay tuned for the new things that are coming up. Let's get excited for the new year and new developments. And uh, we'll continue to do life together. Amen. Let's go. Laura says, John Mary, greetings, brother. Lars says, it is cat. Wonderful testimonial to him. He is surprised that has prayer says has such an impact. Hey, I'm looking more, I'm looking forward to hearing more about that, Lars. Cat says, we have a few minutes left. I'll put the links up for people to see before the show. All right. Well, we just now got to him. Lars says, Melanie and her dad once once again is thankful to this family. Pow- powerful prayers and God's grace made him avoid surgery. And even the bill was taken was taken care of. Wow, hallelujah. Much love to all involved. Thank God. Wow, wow. That is so awesome, Lars. I'm so happy to hear that. Tell Melanie and her dad, I'm so happy to hear that. And uh, I guess that's what you're talking about here. Let's see, wonderful testimony here. He is surprised that prayer has such an impact. Wow, very cool, very cool. Yes, please tell Melanie and her dad that we continue to pray for them and so... Praise God for the good news. Praise God. Uh, Laura says, yum, yum, William. I can't remember that way. And what is it? Laura says, I've seen it two times, Cat, but I forgot to put it on my start screen. But I love the pictures and scriptures. I, I know. I get behind. Don't I, Cat? I get behind and I go on there and play catch up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Laura says, Melanie is feeling tired, but she sends her love. Please, please send Melanie our love as well. That's a phrase that Bobby's mom, Nana, uh that's one thing that she says, uh, send her my love. Yes, send Melanie our love. Laura says, thanks, Kat. I'll try and save it. All right, excellent. Laura says, I've been preaching to fellow beings today. People really don't know what they are missing. Oh, I know that's right. Laura says, some love for Kat. Good morning, Mac T. Hey, thank you for the like. I greatly appreciate it. Laura says, screenshot done. All right. Laura says, tater, roadhog. Meep, meep. Y'all want to hear it? We'll play it. We'll play it here. Let me see here. Let me find it. 
Old Tater rides a moped. Let's go, William Blair. Roadhog. Let's go, Tater. Tater, William, let's go. Laura says, be safe, Laura. Laura says, I will catch. Shalom and goodbye, Deborah. Love you, sister. Deborah, safe travels. Hope to see you soon. Laura says, I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Hopefully, you are fine. Also, there's William. There's the chat chef right there. The chat chef. Laura says, hopefully, we had a good laugh. Laura says, oh, yeah, that's what they say. Cat says, good morning, Brian and Finding Life family. Good morning, Cat. Hope you and Gabriel are doing well today. So good to see you. Hope you're having a good, adventurous morning there on the East Coast. Mactavius says, y'all smash that like button and share the stream with someone this morning with some love. Thank you, Mactavius. Appreciate your love and support, bro. There's my beautiful sunshine bride, Miss Bobby Bell, says, morning, cat, with some love. Morning, Jason. Good morning, Bobby Bell. Hope you made it safely to work. Thank you for working so hard for us. So greatly appreciate it. Please tell all your coworkers I say hello especially Angel. <laughs> Laura says, did you turn the stove down, William? Gravy is delicate. Nice, nice. Bobby Bill says, morning, Brian, with some love. Happy new day of life. Happy new day of life, my beautiful sunshine bride. I love you so much. Uh, let's see. William Blair says, good morning, Bobby. I made breakfast burritos. Breakfast burritos for everybody. They're they're easy to take with you, right, William Blair? You can take them on. You can take them with you as you go for everyone traveling to work this morning or traveling out of town. Laura says, Miss Bell. Cass says, hi, Bobby, with a rose. Diane Caldwell, my mom in Tennessee, says, good morning to you all with some love and some prayer and some joy. Good morning, mom. So good to see you. Hope you're doing well this morning. Hope you and Pap are doing well this morning. Happy new day of life. So glad you're here. William Blair says, good morning, Diane. Bobby says, good morning, Lars, with a smiley face. Smiley face. Bobby says, hi, John Mary. Good morning, William. Cass says, try one of William's breakfast burritos. He's our chat chef. <laughs> Do you guys, does that bother you if I say chat chef instead of chat chef? It just looks right, right? Mactavia says, good morning, Bobby. Good morning, Aunt Diane, with some love. Cass says, Deborah, family gathering in Texas. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds fun. Laura says, Isaiah 25, 1 through 12. Melanie says, hi, family. Please tell Melanie we say hi. And uh, yeah, Laura, me and Lars figured something out yesterday, didn't we, Lars? Lars uh, had given me uh, Joel 3, 1 through 5 to read. <clears throat> and in his Danish Bible, the scripture he was looking for was chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. And in our English Bible, those same verses are Joel 2, 28 through 32. So let's uh, let's start with that one from yesterday, Lars, if you don't mind, and uh, let's go see. We'll go, we'll jump over here to the Bible Hub. Yeah, so that was interesting. I'd never seen that come up before. Uh, Joel two is what Lars was trying to share with us yesterday. That is Joel three in his Bible. Joel two twenty eight through thirty two. This is what let's see what this is. The day of the Lord, and afterward I will pour out my Spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Let's go. Your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. I will show wonders in the heavens and on earth, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. For on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there will be deliverance, as the Lord has said, even among the survivors whom the Lord calls. All right, all right. Thank you, Lars. Let's see what else you have for us. Isaiah 25, 1 through 12. Let's go there. Isaiah 25. Isaiah 25, 1 through 12. Praise to the Lord. Let's go. Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you and praise your name. For in perfect faithfulness, you have done wonderful things, things planned long ago. You have made the city a heap of rubble, the fortified town a ruin, the foreigner's stronghold a city no more. It will never be rebuilt. Therefore, strong peoples will honor you. Cities of ruthless nations will revere you. You have been a refuge for the poor, a refuge for the needy in their distress. 
a shelter from the storm, and a shade from the heat. For the breath of the ruthless is like a storm driving against a wall, and like the heat of the desert, and like the heat of the desert. He silenced the uproar of foreigners, as heat is reduced by the shadow of a cloud, so the song of the ruthless is stilled. <clears throat> On this mountain, the Lord Almighty will prepare a feast of rich food for all peoples, a banquet of aged wine, the best of meats and the finest of wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the shroud that enfolds all peoples, the sheet that covers all nations. He will swallow up death forever. The sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. That's a good one. The sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces he will remove his people's disgrace from all the earth. The Lord has spoken. In that day they will say, Surely this is our God. We trusted in him, and he saved us. This is the Lord. We trusted in him. Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. Amen. The hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain, but Moab will be trampled in their land as straw is trampled down in the manure. They will stretch out their hands in it, as swimmers stretch out their hands to swim, God will bring down their pride. Despite the cleverness of their hands, he will bring down your high fortified walls and lay them down. I'm sorry, and lay them low. He will bring them down to the ground, to the very dust. Let's go. Thank you so much, Lars. Greatly appreciate that, bro. What else you got? Proverbs 27, 19. Let's go see what you have for us there. Proverbs 27, 19. All right. Single verses come up with all translations. Proverbs 27, 19. NIV says, as water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. Oh, how good is that? How good is that? As water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. That is so good. King James says, as in water face answereth to face, so the heart of man to man. As in water face answereth to faith. I'm sorry. As in water face answereth to face, so the heart of man to man. All right. All right, all right. Some, there you go. There, actually, there's not as many trans, not as many uh, translations on that one. Uh very cool, very cool. Thank you so much, Lars. Thank you so much, bro. Greatly appreciate that. Let's see what else we got here. Bobby Bell says, morning, Laura. Me too, at work and listening. Bobby Bell says, good Thursday morning, Graham. Love you. There's Belinda. Good morning, Belinda. So great to see you. Hope you're doing well this morning. Thanks for joining in. Belinda says, blessings and shalom to all. Hope everyone is well and safe. Yes, yes, yes. I hope that as well. Good morning, good morning, Belinda. Lars says, good morning, Diane. William Blair says, good morning, Belinda. And Lars says, good morning, Belinda. Belinda says, William, Lars, God loves you. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. William Blair says, we'll bake a cake. Hey, we'll bake a cake in the chat kitchen for the one-year anniversary. Hey, that's awesome, William Blair. Hey, I was thinking I would go back and show some, I'll show a little, some clips from my very first video, my very first live stream. I was like, it was in the last week of January. I was I was already like, I'd already been wanting to go on YouTube for like a year or two at least because I love YouTube. My passions are YouTube and life and business. And so uh, uh, those are my three. And you, this like brings them all together, brings them all together right here. And so I've been wanting to go on YouTube for a long time. And I've been letting like January the previous year, my workload doubled. I started, I got assigned like the work of two full-time employees and so I was completely overwhelmed at work in 2022. In 2023, I was still in that position. I was still doing two full-time roles at my job. But I was just like, I cannot let another year slip through my fingers. And it was the last Monday of January. And I was like, I just got to go live. I just got to do it. And so I did that January 30th, 2023. And so, yeah, maybe I think I'll show some clips from that very first video uh, one year ago on Tuesday. So thank you, William Blair. We appreciate that, bro. Thank you for taking such good care of us, William. You are greatly loved and appreciated. Cass says Proverbs 10, 24 and 25. 10, 25 was my dad's birthday. Let's see. Let's go back to the Bible hub. Thank you, Cat, for bringing us some word. Let's go see what you have for us. Proverbs. Proverbs 10. 
We'll go there since it's more than one verse. And let's go over here. 24 and 25, 24 and 25. What the wicked dread will overtake them. What the wicked dread will overtake them. What the righteous desire will be granted. When the storm has swept by, the wicked are gone, but the righteous stand firm forever. The righteous stand firm forever. All right, all right. Thank you so much, Kat. I just want to keep reading these. They're so good. The vine As vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so are sluggards to those who send them. The fear of the Lord adds length to life, but the years of the wicked are cut short. The prospect of the righteous is joy. Joy, but the hopes of the wicked come to nothing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you so much, Kat. All right, all right, all right. Uh, let's see. Kat says, Shalom, good morning, Belinda. When it says, I love cake, William, yummy. Laura says, you're so good to us, William. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. William says, hello, Belinda. Kat says, yes, thank you, William. And it says, Kat, you are blessed with some beautiful emojis there. Thank you, Belinda. William says, LOL, Brian. Kat says, ha ha, I love it. William and Tater fighting it out on the road. <laughs> William Blair says, yep, Kat, LOL. Bobby Bell says, yum, William. And good morning to Belinda with some love. Linda says, the living, the living, the living shall praise thee as I do this day. The father to the children shall make known thy truth. Isaiah 39, 19. Amen. Thank you so much, Belinda. Thank you for sharing that. Bringing us some good word. Cass says, Danish Bible. Hmm, that sounds delicious. <laughs> uh, let's see. Laura says, Danish pastry. Yum, yum. We had some Danish pastries when we went to Solving first weekend of December for the first time. Belinda says, of course, Mr. Magoo wins. <laughs> William Blair says, LOL, Belinda. There is John Paulson, says, Cat. Good morning, John. So good to see you, bro. Hope you're doing well this morning. Thanks for jumping in. Cat says, why is, why is it that putting the word Danish in front of anything makes it sound like a tasty snack? I think the word, uh, does the word Danish, oh, I guess it just means related to Denmark, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. Or does it does it mean more than that? I think it. Let's see. Yeah, the definition says relating to Denmark or its people or language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So related to Denmark. So yeah, but I think just because we're so used to hearing the word pastry with Danish, right? Danish pastry. We're just so used to hearing that that anytime we we hear Danish, we think of it just automatically goes with pastry. <laughs> no offense, Lars. Hope that's okay. Uh, Bobby Bell says. Bobby Bell bringing us some word. Hebrews 11, 6. Let's go, Bobby Bell. Let's go, girl. Thank you so much. Giving us some word this morning. Let's see. Uh, Hebrews. Hebrews 11, 6. Let's see what you got. And with, you know what, Bobby Bell? I was thinking about this verse. This I think I said this, actually, when I was making my coffee this morning. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. I was thinking about that. I was thinking about some stuff that I have going on at work. I'm coming down to the wire, and I thought about this this morning. I thought, without faith, it is impossible to please God. We got we to gotta stand on our faith. All right, Hebrews eleven six 6 from Bobby Bell says, And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Whew, let's read that again. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe. That's going to come up today. That word believe, that's going to come up in a very important part today in today's reading. Anyone who, tr anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So King James says, King James says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Good word, good word, good word. Thank you so much, Bobby Bell. We greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Cat, Cat says, John P, sir. Bobby Bell says, hello, well, Cat. Hello, John. William says, good morning, John. Cass says, oops, John P., thanks for gracing us with your presence again, sir. Amen to that. 
John says, hi, Bill. Lars says, John P., thanks, Brian, for examining Scripture to find the rest. You are a blessing to us. Ah, you guys are a blessing to me as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you, Lars. John says, taking a break at work. All right. Enjoy, John Paulson. Enjoy your break, bro. Uh, John says, hi, Lars. Cass says, no lamb today. Guess I'll have chicken. <laughs> yeah, where's lamb at? Where's lamb? Missing lamb. Lamb had to, she had to leave early yesterday, right? Uh, John Paulson. There's a cat for you, cat. Fragile lives, broken dreams. Good morning, Rick. So good to see you, bro. Hope you're doing well this morning. Rick says, blessings to all. Busy morning. I'll be listening. Laura says, fragile. Cat says, meow, fragile. Meow, fragile. There you go. John Paulson said, Brian, be careful playing old videos of yourself. I heard it will make your hair stand up. Hey. <laughs> good one, John Paulson. Good one, bro. <laughs> William Blair says, I'm so glad that I found this channel, Brian. Such a blessing. Oh, William Blair, that is such a blessing to me, bro. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate that. Lars says, John, LOL, John P. Amen, Lars. Or Lars says, Amen, William. John says, right on, Bill. Great channel. Oh, thank you, guys. Love and appreciate you so much. We all need encouragement. Amen. Blinda says, Cat, I made soup, chicken soup yesterday. Look at these little emojis. So good. Uh, Angel, Cat, love. I made chicken soup yesterday. 100. I don't know what went wrong, but it's the best I have ever made. I don't know what went wrong, but it's the best I ever made. What? <laughs> Yummy. So glad to hear Belinda. John Paulson says, mmm, cake. Yeah, William Blair, everybody's getting excited about that cake, bro. Cat says, I'm so glad you found it too, William. You are such a blessing. Amen. William Blair says, thanks, Cat. Cat says, it's raining today. The snow's all melted. Sad emoji. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Cat. John says, doing great here. Let's go, John Paulson. Hey, thank you for the like. I appreciate that. So glad to hear that, John Paulson. Yes, yes, yes. William Blair says, got to start driving my route. I will be listening. God bless you all. God bless you too, William. So glad you're here, bro. So glad you're here, bro. Safe travels. Uh, Laura says, oh, here too, Cat. God bless you, William. John Paulson says, I'm one quarter Danish, one fourth Danish. We're conditioning y'all to love us. <laughs> we do love you guys. We do love you. Linda says, watch out for those other drivers, William. John says, back to work. Back to the old salt mine now. Love y'all. We love you too, bro. Stay safe. We'll, we'll do a desert van life mic saying here. Be safe. Trust Jesus. John Paulson, thanks for joining in, bro. Much love. Belinda says, watch out for those other drivers. We, oh, we read that one already. Laura says, I was considering to ask John P. because your last name is from here. Hmm, there you go. John Paulson. So that's it. LOL. Laura says, son of Paul, John P. Sebastian. Good morning, Sebastian. So good to see you, bro. Hope you're doing well this morning. Thanks for jumping in. Sebastian says, shalom, shalom. Good morning to the beautiful Bell family and to you all. Good morning to you, Sebastian. So good to see you, bro. So glad you're here with us this morning. Laura says, Sebastian. Hello, brother. Cat says, William, watch out for those road hogs. Watch out for those road hogs. One more time. Let's go, William Blair. Road hog. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe I should have, like, uh, that's kind of an abrupt ending, isn't it? Maybe I should have, like, faded it out a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Well, it's almost time for the word. We have less than two minutes. Cat says, sea bass, I didn't see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We'll start, we'll start the intro, and we'll start heading towards the prayer and today's word since we're almost at time. Good morning, good morning. It's so good to see you. Thank you for joining in. So glad you're here. Whether you're joining us here on the live stream or on YouTube after the live recording or on the podcast after the live recording, which is on Apple or Spotify or anywhere else you find your podcast, thank you for being here. So greatly appreciate you being a part of the Good Morning Show, the Finding Life family. Hey, if you are with us here on the live stream this morning, please be sure to say hello. Otherwise, we won't know that you're here. But if you want to stay anonymous, that's fine too. And uh, let's see if you're catching this on YouTube or the podcast, feel free to leave comments on YouTube. I do read and respond to those. And uh, let's keep this as interactive as possible, right? Let's keep the live chat alive and well, right? And uh, keep this as interactive as possible. That's one reason I go live here every morning, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Pacific, so we can interact and do life together as we continue to seek wisdom, truth, and life laying the foundation in God's word in this opening year on YouTube. Seeking life, wisdom says in Proverbs 8.35, whoever finds me finds life. There's the alarm for the word. It is time. It is time. Isaiah 55.3, God says, come to me with your ears wide open. Listen, and you will find life. 
Life is available. Life. There is more to life than meets the eye. If you're going through life and you're thinking, oh my gosh, there's got to be something more to life than this. That's where I was in 2011. And God changed my life. I was already a follower. I was already a believer. I was already a Christian. But I wasn't living out my faith. I was I was going to church every Sunday. We were doing the Christian things. But life had become mundane and monotonous and without joy. And that's what that's what changed everything for us. We started seeking God's will for our life instead of our own. And it changed everything for us. And so now we're going into our 13th year of finding life. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Cat's getting excited about the Bible. Bible, Bible, Bible. Let's go, Cat. Let's go, let's go. Lars says, time for the word. Let's go, let's go. Let's see. Cat says, Sebastian, do you want a sound bite? What would it be? Fish don't make sounds. Hmm. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, let's pray one for Lars. Bruh. Bruh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's say a prayer, and then we'll get into today's word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, God, thank you so much for this new day of life. God, thank you for this family. Thank you, God, that we have the opportunity and privilege to come together right here, right now, no matter where we are in the world. God, thank you. God, we seek you. We seek you above all things, God. Thank you for your word. Thank you that we have access to your word, your living word. Father, we recognize you as the living God. You are above all things. God, help us to fully rest and trust in you and your plan and your will, and your timing. God, we give all that we are to you, and we pray your will be done. God, I pray for anyone who's hearing my voice. God, you know, you know how hard it can be here. We praise you for that. We praise you that you are always with us, God, no matter what we're facing today, no matter what we're facing right here, right now. God, help us to keep our eyes on you. not our problems, not our challenges. Help us to keep our eyes on you, God. Help us to trust you, even when it doesn't make sense, God. Help us, God. Your word says to rejoice always. Your word says to be glad when you face trials and tribulations, to, to go into everything with thankfulness. God, help us to live out your truth. Help us to live out your will. Uh, we love you. We praise you. We thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you for sending Jesus down here to save us, to bring us from death to life, life today and life everlasting. Thank you, God. Thank you for loving us even when we don't deserve it, God. God, you alone are worthy of praise and you alone, God, are worthy of fear, the creator and the author and the source of life. We love you and we praise you and we thank you for this time together this morning. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, all right, let's get into the word. I see Crafty Nana Tracy has joined the live stream. Good morning, Crafty Nana Tracy. So good to see you. Hope you're doing well this morning. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Rick says, Brian, FYI, Brian, it's only a 28-hour drive to come visit me. Hey, let's go. How about this weekend? <laughs> 28 drive. I think that's further than it is to drive to Tennessee. Uh, amen. 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 Let's see what Crafty Nana hit. Laura says 28 hours. Wow, I could drive to Spain and back. That sounds fun. Uh, that sounds fun. All right. Let's see. All right. All right. Let's see if I miss any others before we get into the word. I think that's it. And we'll go here. Crafty Nana has Psalm 119, 153 through 160, King James. Crafty Nana says, good morning, hanging on to Yeshua. Amen. Amen for that. Let's see, we'll read Crafty Dennis' Bible verse here, and then we'll get into today's word. Psalm 119, 153 through 160, King James. Let's go see what Crafty Nana has brought to us today. Psalm 119, Psalm 119, King James. 153 through 60. Here we go. Consider mine affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Plead my cause and deliver me. Quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes. Great, so we're going, great are thy tender mercies, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgments. Many are my prosecutors, persecutors, persecutors, and mine enemies yet. 
do I not decline from thy testimonies. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved because they kept not thy word. Consider how I love thy precepts. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from beginning. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Thank you so much, Crafty Nana Tracy. Very good, very good. All right, all right. Let's get back over here. One more comment, and we'll get into today's word. Belinda says, The words of the wise spoken in quiet are more acceptable than the cry of a ruler among fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroyeth much good. Ecclesiastes 9, 17, and 18. Thank you for sharing that, Belinda. All right. Rick says, Brian, call a cab. Call Bill and bring the family. Let's go. Let's go. Me and Bobby love adventure, bro. We love adventure. All right, let's get into today's word. Hey, we're doing a short reading here live Monday through Friday here on YouTube, 6 a.m. Pacific. Come join us. Come join the fun. We'd love to have you here to start our day in a good way. Focus on what matters most before we start our day. For those of us that are in this time zone anyway, huh? Sorry for sorry for uh, Laura's Melanie. Uh, people are in other time zones. It's not uh, Uganda. It's not your morning, but uh, sorry about that. Uh, I guess it can't be morning everywhere, right? But love you guys. So appreciate you being here. Short reading here, we're doing New Testament Psalms and Proverbs on a journey through the Word in this opening year on YouTube. Let's go. Right now we're in the book of 1 Thessalonians. Today is 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 9 through chapter 3, verse 13. Paul says, Don't you remember, dear brothers and sisters, how hard we worked among you? Night and day we toiled to earn a living. Night and day we toiled to to earn a living so we would not be a burden to any of you as we preached God's good news to you. You yourselves are our witnesses, and so is God, that we were devout and honest and faultless towards toward all of you believers. And you know that we treated each of you as a father treats his own children. We pleaded with you, encouraged you, and urged you, to live your lives in a way that God would consider worthy. Paul says, we pleaded, we pleaded with you, we encouraged you, and we urged you to live your lives in a way that God would consider worthy. For he called you to share in his kingdom and glory. Therefore, we never stop thanking God that when you received his message from us, you didn't think of our words as mere human ideas. You accepted what we said as the very word of God, which, of course, it is. And this word continues to work in you who believe. Paul says, and this word continues to work in you who believe. And then, dear brothers and sisters, you suffered persecution from your own countrymen. In this way, you imitated the believers in God's churches in Judea who, because of their belief in Christ Jesus, suffered from their own people, the Jews. For some of the Jews killed the prophets, and some even killed the Lord Jesus. Now they have persecuted us too. They fail to please God and work against all humanity, as they try to keep us from preaching the good news of salvation to the Gentiles. By doing this, they continue to pile up their sins, but the anger of God has caught up with them at last. Dear brothers and sisters, after we were separated from you for a little while, though our hearts never left you, we tried very hard to come back because of our intense longing to see you again. We wanted very much to come to you, and I, Paul, tried again and again, but Satan prevented us. After all, what gives us hope and joy? And what will be our proud reward as and crown as we stand before our Lord Jesus when he returns? It is you. Yes, you are our pride and joy. Finally, when we could stand it no longer, we decided to stay alone in Athens. And we sent Timothy to visit you. He is our brother and God's co-worker. In proclaiming the good news of Christ, we sent him to strengthen you, to encourage you in your faith, and to keep you from being shaken by the troubles 
you were going through. But you know we are destined for such troubles. Even while we were with you, we warned you that troubles would soon come. Man, no one is exempt from trouble. Even while we were with you, we warned you that troubles would soon come, and they did, as you well know. That is why, when I could bear it no longer, I sent Timothy to find out whether your faith was still strong. I was afraid that the tempter had gotten the best of you, and that our work had been useless. But now Timothy has just returned, bringing us good news about your faith and love. He reports that you always remember our visit with joy and that you want to see us as much as we want to see you. So we have been greatly encouraged in the midst of our troubles and suffering, dear brothers and sisters, because you have remained strong in your faith. It gives us new life to know that you are standing firm in the Lord. How we thank God for you. Because of you, we have great joy as we enter God's presence Night and day we pray earnestly for you, asking God to let us see you again to fill the gaps in your faith. May God, our Father and our Lord Jesus, bring us to you very soon. And may the Lord make your love for one another and for all people grow and overflow, just as our love for you overflows. May he, as a result, make your heart strong blameless and holy as you stand before God our Father when our Lord Jesus comes again with all his holy people. Amen. All right. That is today's reading in the New Testament. That is 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 9 through chapter 3, verse 13. All right. All right. All right. Today's psalm is chapter 80, verses 1 through 19. Please listen, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph's descendants like a flock. O God, enthroned above the cherubim, display your radiant glory to Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Show us your mighty power. Come to rescue us. Turn us again to yourself, O God. Make your face shine down upon us. Only then will we be saved. O oh Lord God of heaven's armies, how long will you be angry with our prayers? You have fed us with sorrow and made us drink tears by the bucketful. You have made us the scorn of neighboring nations. Our enemies treat us as a joke. Turn us again to yourself, O oh God of heaven's armies. Make your face shine down upon us. Only then will we be saved. You brought us from Egypt like a grapevine. You drove away the pagan nations and transplanted us into your land. You cleared the ground for us. We took root and filled the land. Our shade covered the mountains. Our branches covered the mighty cedars. We spread our branches west to the Mediterranean Sea. Our shoots spread east to the Euphrates River. But now why have you broken down our walls so that all who pa pass by may steal our fruit? The wild boar from the forest devours it, and the wild animals feed on it. Come back, we beg you, O God of heaven's armies. Look down from heaven and see our plight. Take care of this grapevine that you yourself have planted, this son you have raised for yourself. For we are chopped up and burned by our enemies. May they perish at the sight of your frown. Strengthen the man you love, the son of your choice. Then we will never abandon you again. Revive us so we can call on your name once more. Turn us again to yourself, O Lord, God of heaven's armies. Make your face shine down upon us. Only then will we be saved. All right, that is today's psalm. Chapter 80, verses 1 through 19. Today's Proverbs is chapter 25, 1 through 5. It says, these are more Proverbs of Solomon collected by the advisors of King Hezekiah of Judah. It is God's privilege to conceal things. It is God's privilege to conceal things and the king's privilege to discover them. No one can comprehend the height of heaven, the depth of the earth, or all that goes on in the king's mind. 
Remove the impurities from silver, and the sterling will be ready for the silversmith. Remove the wicked from the king's court, and his reign will be made secure by justice. All right, that is today's Proverbs chapter 25, 1 through 5. All right, the word of the Lord, the source of wisdom, truth, and life, the living word, all glory to God. You guys let me know if you have any thoughts, comments, insight, anything you would like to share about today's reading as we continue forward into today's show. All right, all right. Let's get back to the live chat and uh, let me know if you have anything for today's word. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. I used to do like a little recap or things that stood out to me. Let's see here. But uh, you guys let me know. You guys let me know. Let me know. Let me know. That one, that last there in the New Testament re reminded me of Uganda, how me and Bobby like, we really want to get back to Uganda. And he was talking about night and day. We pray earnestly for you, asking God, let us to, asking God to let us see you again. May God, our Father and our Lord Jesus, bring us to you very soon. Lord willing, Lord willing. All right, let me let, let me know, if you guys. Have anything you want to say about today's word? Let's go back to the live chat. I see Vicky Calvert has joined the show. Good morning, Vicky Calvert. So good to see you. Vicky says, good morning, Friday Lifers. I wish I could stay in chat, but I'm going to call at work. God bless you all. God bless you too, Vicky. Thanks for joining in while you could. We greatly appreciate it. Let's see. Let's see. Let me go back. Let me go back. Uh, here's where we were. Here's where we were. Brian, call a cab. Call Bill and bring family. Let's go. All right. Laura says, 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 57. From Melanie. Thank you, Melanie. Let's go see what you got over there. Can never get too much of the word. Amen. The word is life. The word is life. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word became, the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh. The Word is life. 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 57. Let's go see what you got, Lars. Uh, 51 through 57. Hopefully they line up. Right, bro? Here we go. Listen. I tell you a mystery. There is a lot in God's word about the word, about mystery, the mysterious ways. All right, listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For the, for the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with that imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Death has been swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's read that again. But thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's read the last verse here. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Praise God for that. Praise God for that. Man, that reminds me of one of my life verse, Galatians 5.1. It is for freedom that we have been set free. Stand firm then. Stand firm then and do not be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. So good, so good, so good. Thank you, Lars. Greatly appreciate that, bro. Here's another one. You got Proverbs 24, 12. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Uh, Proverbs 24, 12. We'll click over to the screen share. Let's go Bible Hub. Bible Hub. 24, Proverbs 24, 12. NIV says, If you say, but we knew nothing about this, does not he who weighs the heart perceive it? Does not he who guards your life know it? Will he not repay everyone according to what they have done? Proverbs twenty four twelve. 
Let's see what King James says. King James says, If thou sayest, Behold, we knew it not, doth not he that pondereth the heart consider it? And he that keepeth thy soul, doth not he know it? And shall not he render to every man according to his works? Thank you so much, Lars. Thank you so much, bro. All right, all right. Cat says, hi, Vicky. Vicky says, thanks for the word. Thanks for being the word, Brian. Oh, God bless you, Vicky. Thank you for your thank you. I greatly appreciate it. Thanks for jumping in. Uh, Lars says, God bless you, Vicky. Vicky says, hey, Cat, good morning with some love and some joy. Let's go. Vicky says, hi and bye, Lars. I meant bringing the word. Oh, <laughs> yes, you're so welcome, Vicky. Thanks for bringing the word. Yes, you're so welcome. Uh, Lars, Lars is laughing, saying, be safe, Vicky. We're laughing. We're laughing with you, Brian. <laughs> Vicky says, thanks, Lars. Blessings to you. Crafty Nana Tracy says, the father got me through yesterday. It would have been my son's 39th birthday. Thank you all for your prayers during this morning time with some love. Oh, Crafty Nana, I'm so sorry for your loss, sister. I'm so sorry for that heartache. And I can't even, we can't, uh, for me, we can't even imagine uh, what, what what you've been going through. And uh, let's please all continue to remember Crafty Nana in our thoughts and our prayers. I'm so sorry, Crafty Nana. So sorry. Rick says, Adventure is my middle name, Brian. Take all take you all to a place I've only heard about. That sounds good, Rick. That sounds good, bro. Crafty Nana says, praise our sovereign King, Yeshua the Almighty. Amen, Crafty Nana. Sebastian says, gotta go. Have a nice day, everyone. God bless you. God bless you, Sebastian. Good seeing you for a minute, bro. Take care, and Lord willing, we'll see you back soon. Thank you for the like. Laura Kay says, hey there, can be here about three minutes before going into work. All right, Laura Kay. Thanks for joining in, Laura Kay. So good to see you, and hope you have a good day at work. Don't work too hard. Try to find that joy in the journey. Kat says, Gabriel is so nice. He was going to bed when I asked him to make me pizza, and he did from scratch. Holy cow. So I'm eating pizza now. Wow. That's a breakfast, cat. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad to hear that. I'm so glad to hear that, cat. Great job, Gabriel. Good job taking care of your wife, bro. Belinda says, uh, Crafty Nana, remember that your son will not have to suffer what is coming. I pray that you find peace. Amen. Amen. We read that recently, didn't we, Belinda? Uh, people dying young, God saving them from the suffering that's coming that that would come. John Mary says this group takes away the boredom. Big up, Brian. Hey, thank you, John Mary. So glad we can help out, bro. So glad you're able to join in. Laura K says hi, everybody. Uh, John Mary says hello, Belinda. Laura K says all caps. Hi, cat. Hi, cat. Linda says John Mary blessings. Mactavia says goodbye. Finding life family. Jay, we don't say goodbye, bro. We say see you later or until next time. All right. I uh, have to hop on a call. May God be with you and the road rise to meet you. Uh oh, sounds like an Irish blessing. Thank you, Mactavius. So good to see you, bro. Hope you're all well soon, bro. Continuing to pray for you. Thanks for jumping in. Thanks for your love and support. Love and appreciate you. Laura says, Scripture verifies itself. Scripture verifies itself over and over. Two or more witnesses throughout Scripture. Amen, Lars. John Mary says, Sebastian, we welcome, bro. Feel at home. Amen, amen. Kat says, hey, Laura made it back. Hi. Rick says, uh, oh, I see Evie coming in. So good. Rick says, this summer, I'll come get you all. Meet at the end of the keyhole on, I don't know how to say that. Uh, um, okay. Um, okay, Rick. Um, okay. <laughs> Evie, so good to see you, sister. So good to see you. We've been missing you. I hope you're doing well. I sent you an email a few days ago. I don't know, uh, Stacy Rose. I haven't seen Stacy Rose on the show, but Stacy Rose, if, if you're hearing this, I, I did send you an email a few days ago. And uh, so let, let me know. Let me know. And uh, Evie says, blessings, everyone. Shalom. Good morning, Evie. It's so good to see you. I hope you're doing well. We've been praying for you. And I know you've had, uh, I'm, I don't. I can't remember when your other testing was. I know you had more testing coming up, and I can't remember when it was. But uh, Evie, it's so good to see you and hope you're doing well. And uh, we're praying for you. Please keep us posted. Laura Kay says, yesterday was my brother's 73rd birthday. If he was alive today, he passed away 27 years ago. Oh, sorry for your loss, Laura. John Mary says, hello, Vicky. Good morning. Rick, giving some laughter there. There's my mom says, so thankful for this group. You are our morning devotion. Oh, thank you, mom. So, so thankful that you're able to be here with us. Kat says, hi, Brian's mom. Thanks for giving us a Brian we didn't know we needed. Oh, thank you, Kat. Uh, Kat says, Shalom, Evie, welcome back. Laura says, reading myself for Pickup Fragile. 
reading, readying, sorry, readying myself for pickup fragile. Looking forward to seeing you all. Yes, indeed. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Vicky Calvert says, my call ended and this group is so awesome. I had to quickly turn up the volume with some love. Aw, thank you, Vicky. Praising the Lord for everyone here. Could you do a little overtime, Brian? Oh, I wish I could, but I gotta, I gotta go get Jaden up and ready for school. Uh, let's see. Evie says, "Still, we can, we can go on as long as we can. We can go on a few more minutes." Uh, Evie says, "Still waiting on tests. They found a cyst in my spinal cord. Well, the cyst—that's good. Cysts are benign. Uh, so uh, I hope that sounds so far so good, right, Evie? Praise God for that." Belinda says, "The Lord." Vicky says, "Good morning, Evie. Blessings to you." Rick says, nice, Lars. Lars says, uh, prayers for Evie. All right, I'm caught up in the live chat. Vicky Calvert, what else do you want to talk about? Vicky Calvert, uh, let's go, let's go. Got a few more minutes. Let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know, let me know. Thank you guys for being here today. Much love to you all. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I'm caught up in the live chat. <laughs> Cat says, sweet, Vicky, savor the end until next time. There's Full of Hope. Hi, Finding Life family. Good morning, Full of Hope. So great to see you. Did you hear Jason Mactavius saying your Irish blessing, part of your Irish blessing a while ago? So good to see you, Full of Hope. Hey, thank you for the like. Appreciate it. Let's see here. Evie says thank you with some love and love and some joy. Evie, so good to see you again, sister. Laura Kay says Galatians 6.4. Pay careful attention to your own work. For then you will get the satisfaction of a job well done, and you won't need to compare yourself to anyone else. Ooh, that's good. That's good. That's that's dangerous, huh? That comparison game. That's that's the danger of social media. Is the you just? It's hard not to compare your life to others. And uh, I try not to. I try to. I try to stay away from social media for the most part. Very, very, very little use. Cat says Piola's here. Let's go. No, I missed it. Okay. I'll show it to you, Pilo. Uh, Jason Mactavius, just part of it, I think, right? He said, uh, may God be with you and the road rise to meet you. Isn't that part of uh, rise to meet you? Uh, finding life, not finding life, finding uh, full of hope, full of hope. Isn't that part of your Irish blessing? The Irish blessing. Uh, let's see. Belinda says, the Lord is good to them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. Lamentations. Let's go. Cass says, hi, full of hope. How are your Irish eyes doing today? Vicky says, good morning, John Mary. Laura says, amen, Laura. Laura says, full of hope. Good to see you, sister. Lamentations 325. Is that what you uh, is that what you gave to us there, uh, Belinda? Let's go see what it is. Lamentations 325. Let's go see. That's what you gave us. Lamentations 325. The Lord is good to those who whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. Amen, amen. King James, the Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. Yes, indeed. Thank you so much, Belinda. Thank you so much. My mom says, oh, how sweet, cat. Oh, Full of Hope says, cat, that song was great fun. I've shared it. Laura Kay says, have a nice day. Got to go. You too, Laura Kay. Hope you have a great day. And uh, we'll, we look forward to seeing you back soon, Lord willing. Until then, hey, keep aiming up, keep finding life, keep eyes on Christ, amen. Blenna says, my cell phone doing tricks today. Full of Hope says, Lars, I have to go back and watch the replay. Vicky Cower says, good word from Lamentations, amen. Vicky says, bye, Laura K. have a good day. Bye, Laura K. have a good day. Vicky, did you know it, that you're a poet? Laura says, love you all, my precious family in Yeshua's mighty name, amen, Lars. Crafty Nana says, Matthew 6, 31 through 33, King James. Let's go see what you got. Let's go see what you got, Crafty, Nana, Tracy, Matthew, Matthew 6, King James 31 through 33 says, 31 through 33, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Oh, look, there's a there's a smiley face right there. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. 
<clears throat> but seek first the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Crafty Nana Tracy. We so greatly appreciate that. Lars says, me too, full of hope. Vicky says, good to see you, Diane Caldwell, with some love and some joy. Vicky says, I am a poet, LOL. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Bye, Laura Kay. Have a good day. John Mary says, Vicky, how was your day today? Full of hope says, Vicky Calvert, you're a poet and didn't know it. <laughs> Let's go. All right. All right. I'm sorry, Vicky. We are out of time. We are out of time. I'm so sorry. Got to go get Jaden up and ready for school and then go to work myself. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Vicky says, it's a great day. Praise the Lord. Amen, Vicky Calvert. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Belinda says, have a, blast, a blessed and safe day, everyone. You too, Belinda. There's some cake there. Let's go. Let's go. Crafty Nana says, he is everything. In him is all things. Amen, Crafty Nana Tracy. Hey, thank you all for being here today. Much love to you all. We'll plan to do this again tomorrow, Lord willing. And I would love to see you back on the show as we continue to lay the foundation for finding life in the word, seeking that wisdom, truth, and life. Hey, let's keep our eyes on Christ, right? Let's keep our eyes on Christ, not our problems. Eyes on Christ, not our problems. Eyes on Christ. I keep our eyes on Christ. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And then all these things will be added, shall be added unto you. Let's go. Let's seek God first. Let's seek God above all things. Amen. Let's go. Let's seek his will for our life. Let's get in tune with our creator. Only the creator knows best the purpose of whatever is created. No matter if that's a piece of pottery or you. And so we have to have a connection with our creator to know our purpose in life. But once we can seek him, seek his will, and once we know that, let's run the race with endurance. Let's strip off anything that slows us down or hinders us or holds us back, and let's run that race with endurance, the life that God created us to live. Let's do that. Let's do that. Hey, if I can help you in any way in the journey of finding life, please let me know. Please let me know. Stacey Rose, if you hear this, I sent you an email a few days ago. I don't know if you got it, but uh, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let's see. Vicky says, Lord willing, I will enjoy you all tomorrow. Yes, Vicky, Lord willing, we will enjoy seeing you tomorrow. Kat says, there's there's Kat's links. Vicky says, blessings to everyone here. Have a super great day in Jesus' name. Amen. With some love. Amen, Vicky Calvert. Kat says, see you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Love meows. There we go. Vicky Calvert says, amen. Seek him first and all these things shall be added unto you. Craft Dennis says, amen. Hey, let's pray the uh, ironic blessing. In honor of Lawanda, per Lawanda, Numbers 6, 24 through 26, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Amen. All right. All glory to God. Let's see. Let's see. John Mary says, my network is not so good. I want to be off today, maybe tomorrow. God willing. All right, John Mary. Look forward to seeing you back soon, bro. Hey, thank you guys for being here once again. Thank you so much. Much love to you all. Hope you have a great day, great evening, great night, depending on where you are in the world. And uh, we look forward to seeing you back soon, Lord willing. Amen, Vicki Calvert. Amen. All right. Until then, hey, keep aiming up and keep finding life. Vaya con Dios. Go with God. We'll see you soon, Lord willing. Until then, take care. See you soon. Hey friend, thanks for watching my video or listening to my podcast. Again, I'm so glad you're here. If you would like more information about Finding Life, please be sure to subscribe. Don't forget about my free PDF download, the top three keys to finding life, which also includes the one decision that completely changed everything for me and can for you too. I'll have a link to it below. If you would like to help me help others find life, please be sure to give me a like, leave me a comment, a review, share with your family and friends. Any activity I get helps me help others find life. Lastly, don't forget to let me know how I can help you. What challenges are you facing? What are you struggling with? Let me know how I can help you specifically. Leave me a comment, send me an email, or set up a call with me. Until next time, let me leave you with this. There is a common thread that connects us all, and there is more to life than meets the eye. If you have ever felt like there has to be something more to life, you're on the right track. Keep moving forward. Yeah.